The SDF-1 was able to escape the Zentradi attacks by executing a spacefold maneuver, which took most of the island along with it. I nearly got killed when that happened, and was in the hospital for months before I could fly again. After recovering from my injuries, they stationed me at Alaska base. All my friends from the academy were on board the SDF-1, and I wondered if I'd ever see them again. The SDF-1 didn't get a very warm reception when they returned. The United Earth government flatly refused to help them. They had survived for a year out in space under constant attack by the Zentradi, only to be told that they weren't wanted back on Earth. Chiron, who was maybe the worst of the Zentradi warlords, continued to launch attacks on the SDF-1 after it returned home. When I heard that Roy Folker had been killed, I visited the SDF-1 to attend his funeral. That's when Chiron chose to attack. Captain Gloval decided to test out a new barrier system they had developed, which enclosed the SDF-1 in a protective energy shield. It even worked, for a while anyway. <laughs> 